you have a simple Integra panel and on the right side you have plus version. So you have a uh, different power supply. The requirements for grade three is that you need to have additional power supply for um, battery. So this, this is why it's separated from the main power supply for the rest of the system. You have additional possibilities, uh, additional functionalities like uh, thermostat uh, outputs and other additional possibilities because we use their uh, bigger uh, memory. And because of this, we can implement more uh, functionality. Also free EOL uh, zone out, uh, zones. Uh, this is uh, used um, and implemented because grade three require for PIR and dual technology detectors to use uh, anti-masking. So in general, you have three different types of information going inside the panel. So you have sub, uh, so you have tamper alarms, you have a violation, of course, so two EOL, and third EOL you can use for anti-masking. So this functionality give you a possibility to use just one zone for every detector, not like you need to do a separate zone for anti-masking. So you can put more detectors in one system. Of course, uh, in addition to push notification, SMS notification, and voice, you have also email notification from Integra Plus. And in addition, at the end is a USB connector for connecting with your PC. So about the zones, you have uh, from four to 16 zones on board on every panel. Mm, but of course you can expand it to the number of uh, zones that is described by Integra, for example, 64. So it means 64 zones. You have 97 different types of zones. This is something that um, give you a possibility to fit Integra panel to almost any site because there is uh, a lot of possibilities to program uh, as the security system goes, but even beyond the security system. Of course, up, you can expand up to 256 zones in the biggest Integra panel. So Integra Plus version 256, you're able to use it as the wired, wireless, or virtual. This is something very important as the functionality goes in Integra panel, because you can use a virtual zones if you are not using them for the detectors you can use them for additional uh, functionality especially if you want to use some kind of smart home uh, functionality of course eol 2 eol and 3 eol uh, for the zones as i spoke before about the integra plus version um you could also reprogram or change the values of the resistors resistance reading from the zones, on the zones. So uh, if you, for example, uh, replacing uh, some other uh, security system on site and you have different uh, values of the resistors put it in, you can change an Integra panel resistance, uh, resistance value and then, for example, just replace the panel without need of uh, changing every resistors in every single detector on site. You just make it uh, you can just change it in the Integra panel. But please remember that Integra panel, uh, Integra normal, uh, let's say from 24 to 128 WRL, it's supporting this functionality only on Expanders INTE. On board, you can't change it. It always will be 1.1 kilo ohm. And in Integra Plus, you could also change it on the board. On the board. So you could uh, change it almost everywhere but please take this in consideration and of course uh, zones uh, use except of of course normal ncno w uh, eol etc it also supports a shutter and vibration detectors the uh, that is able to read impulses on the zone and count them something if you are using different types of vi vibration detector for example you can use it also in there about the partitions, you have from four to 16 uh, partition, depending uh, of the panel, and of course, 32 with the bigger one from 64, Integra 64 and up. Uh, you have uh, quite a lot of possibilities of the types of the partition, because you could use a partition like arm by password, arm by time, 
but also you can use that uh, only users could use their code in this time for this partition. So you can use uh, timers for it, but also you can use end and or logic inside the partition. This gives you a possibility to use a more advanced functionality in the security system. For example, end and or uh, functionality you can use when you have two companies and one corridor, and then um, to block the possibility that one company will arm corridor when the other company is still working. So this also gives you uh, this functionality in general. But also there is a uh, additional uh, type of, out, uh, of partition, for example, vaults that will count down the time to open the vault and of course, auto arming. There's also a lot of different options, like uh, I see the 10 uh, options regarding how the every single partition should work, like arming, disarming by two passwords, uh, passwords on different keypads, etc., etc. And uh, you can, of course, control uh, partitions by using uh, key fobs or cars to, to arm and disarm the system. In addition, you can also uh, separate the parts of the system as the subsystem. So if you see at uh, the screen, you see a garden, house, and garage. There are three different partitions. This is the par virtual parts of the system that will work together. But if you, for example, have one panel and two houses that should be separate with the separate users, with separate administrator and all the management about should be separate, then you can use a subsystem for it. And you can use up to eight different subsystems. This functionality you can use are with the houses that are very close and you are using just one system, security system, but also in uh, malls, if you have, for example, five, or eight different uh, companies, uh, there are different box, and they should have a different uh, administrator and the possibilities to control their system. About the outputs, we have two types of outputs on, on the panels. Uh, we have high current and the low current. High current give you a power supply for devices, depending on the type of output, of course, and the panel. And the uh, low current outputs are used for controlling or sending information outside of the system. For example, for the third party company um, GSM units or um, some kind of information that goes outside, but also for the smart home functionality. So respectively for Integra panel, we have uh, Integra 24, we have four uh, outputs on board, two high current, two low current, 32, eight, eight on board, two high current and six uh, low current, and Integra 64 and higher, 16 on board, uh, four current and 12 uh, low current. Please remember that WRL is the size of the Integra 32, so there is a, a little mistake on the presentation. Um, it's not, Integra WRL doesn't have a four output high current output and 12 on board. So please just take this in consideration. All right, about the outputs. Um, there is also every single output could be uh, configured in 100, uh, 122 types of output. So you have quite a big range of the possibilities how the output should react. Of course, it's not only a type of output for the security system, but also additional functionality like smart home, like controlling doors, etc. depending, of course, of the security system. But also uh, there is a types of output to work with the logic. So you can you have a end and or logic in there. So you can combine many informations in one output that will control, for example, lights. So you don't, don't need only to have a possibility to control lights by switch on the wall, but also you can use for it a timer, and you can use information about the status of the weather, you can use information about the amount of lights outside, if it's the um, garden lights, you can use information from the sprinklers, if et cetera, et cetera. So you can combine all this information by using logical end and or and then use a uh, quite advanced scenarios for the uh, for controlling outputs um yeah and of course you can use this type of outputs to control many different things it's not only sprinklers and lights but also shutters garage doors even um yeah 
almost everything, to be honest. About Integra users, you have uh, from 16 users in smallest Integra 24 and up to 240 users in the biggest, bigger Integra panels. Uh, and every single user can be can use a password card and remote uh, uh, for it. But also, please remember, there are the different types of users. There could be a scheduled user that they can use only their code in the some period of time by describe you can describe it by the timer with all the exceptions in there so you can build quite advanced possible access control for the security system in general and if we are in the timers so you have from 16 to 64 different timers every timer have a possibility to set a time for every single day of the week so it's monday to sunday uh, but also you have four exceptions in there that will trigger by the date. So you can create, for example, a country holidays or some kind of long weekend in there. Uh, but you can use this timer to control uh, when the partition is armed or disarmed. You can control by the timers, uh, for example, schedule for the uh, users to be able to use their code or to use access control. There is a possibility to control outputs by it to use it in the smart home functionality to uh, control, for example, sprinklers or, or lights. But also you can use in many, many other different things like access control there also. But you have still a lot of possibilities with uh, additional timers. So about the power supply inside this uh, security system. So Integra, uh, normal Integra without plus, give you a possibility to use different type of uh, power supply from 1.2 ampere to 3 ampere per panel and as you see on the left side on the left picture there is a, just a one capacitor in, in there with integra plus because of the grade 3 and requirements for the power supply that the uh, charging the battery should be separate from the main power supply for the rest of the system, you see the separation. So from 2 ampere for the power supply for the system and 1.5 ampere for the charging of the battery with the grade 3. Uh, so yes, you have a, a possibility to, uh, to use it also with the grade 3 compatibility. Okay, so expansion modules. There is a quite big range of expander for Integra panel. Uh, from um, zone inputs up to outputs and different types of outputs. But in general, you, with the biggest panels where you have two buses, expander buses, you are ab able to use uh, 32 expander on one bus, so up to 64 in general. And of course, from four to eight keypads, depending on the, of course, of course, of the security system, of what type of Integra we are using. A uh, quite important part that every single bus, uh, at, at least the expander bus, the range uh, of the length of the cable is up to one uh, kilometer. So you can use uh, this expanders locally close to the panel, but also you can expand the possibilities of the security system quite far. So you are able to put, uh, for example, security panel, the main unit in the, uh, for example, in the um, first floor, but every single floor will be additional box with possibility to use expanders like zone and outputs. And then you don't need to put all the cables from the building in one place. You can separate the system and migrate at least the amount of cable that you are using on the site. And of course, between uh, between the main panel and expander, you are using just one cable uh, for the bus with the four cores. And of course, you can use a local power supply for it. Um, yeah. So let's start with the most common used uh, expander. It's INTE. So it's eight zone expander that you can expand the possibilities of Integra panel. So if you have, uh, for example, Integra 64, you have 64 zones maximum, 16 zones on board. So every, uh, every next eight, you can expand it by the INTE. So you can use additional expanders to, to be able to expand it. And the amount of zones, so it supports, of course, EOL, WEOL, and free EOL zone configuration. Of course, free EOL only in the plus. 
you can prog uh, program EOL resistance values for the for the module. So if you are using again with different mm, different type of detectors that there are, have different resistors, then you can use it. Of course, pulse anal analyzing uh, possibility with the for the detectors like vibration or the roller, and of course. Quite important part is that it's able to use a, a local power supply like APS 412 and 612 uh, for a local power supply. There is a special connector. The, if you look at the picture, it's on middle of, on top, the three pin connector, and you connect their APS, and then you have not only power supply sent to a unit, but also there is a possibility to send information about the status of uh, power supply, so status of the battery, say status of the AC uh, as the power supply for the PSU. So you have full information going back to security system about the status of the power supply. Of course, you can use additional zone for it, but in this case, you just save uh, like three or four different uh, zones just to receive this information by using this connector. Uh, you have ADR, anti-ADR, a little less used module, but it gives you a possibility to use a bus for um, for any kind of detector. You are using then ADR uh, mod, a small board, and you put it inside the detector, and this is give you a possibility to use a bus uh, for your uh, zones. And one module supports up to 48 addressable zones. So you connect it to uh, this INT ADR to bus expander bus, and then every you put just one cable. This is uh, common use if you have, for example, on the wall one line of the windows, and on every window there is a contact. And normally you should put every single cable from the wi one window to the panel, from the second window to the panel, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But in this case, you just put one cable. Uh, connect everything to this one bus uh, expander, uh, sorry, zone bus, and then a few seconds later, you have all the information about uh, every single contact on separately. And of course, is give you a possibility to use a PSU unit on board, so you can plug in a PSU, and then your you have a power supply for your detectors also. So uh, additional output, so eight outputs. Uh, this is with the relays on board, but also uh, open collector on site, and then you can use it to control, for example, any kind of uh, part of smart home. But I think this module is more for uh, giving information to garage door, uh, something that is using as some kind of um, um, information uh, from this system. Um, because for the smart home we will be using most common will be different uh, module, but this give you a uh, addition. In addition, this will give you uh, galvanic protection and separation between the system, like security system and of course garage doors or any other. Uh, INTPP. This is some. This is uh, expander that combined to be honest two expanders in one. So this is additional output expander, but also eight zone. Uh, expander, so we'll, this will give you a possibility to connect zones and, of course, outputs. So if you are in need of this type of device in your system, and of course supports PSU unit. As I as I will, was talking about the zone uh, outputs and the smart home functionality uh, with INTO, this INTORS is and INT. IORS, this is the expander that I will most commonly use in the smart home functionality because it gives you eight uh, outputs, relay outputs uh, that support 230 volts with 16 amperes per relay. So you can control any kind, any almost any kind of power supply uh, like uh, devices like lights, shutters, um, sprinklers, valves, etc., etc. So you can expand the functionality of the security system also by the controlling the simple uh, smart home functionality, but also ex expanding the uh, security 
uh, or sec um, possibilities of the house. So for example, security system right now can work not only for the burglary alarm, so if someone uh, want to go inside your building, but also is able to detect, for example, smoke and fire, it is able to detect uh, leakages of the or the flood in your house, and then, for example, send information to a main vol valve to close uh, their circuit. So uh, there will be some kind of flood, but of course it will be a lot less if the valve is closed. So you can expand the possibilities. But also right now you can, with Integra Plus, you can use this uh, type of outputs to con control the valve for the heating. So you have, for example, uh, floor heating, you can use this information. Uh, from, for example, wireless uh, ABAX2 detectors and use this information about the temperature to control the heating inside the room or inside the building. So this gives you a, little, a lot of uh, additional possibilities, uh, especially with the um, solutions like INT TSI, so the keypad where that you can create as customized whatever you see in there but also with the mobile application Integra control that you can change the thermostat value uh, from your mobile application. And then you can, for example, uh, change it before you go to your uh, holiday house, just, you know, like four hours before, and then you will come to the uh, nice and cozy house. Um, yeah, and of course, this uh, type of outputs uh, expander is uh, you can Put it uh, it's mounted on DIN rail so you can put it in the fuse box and then you have a very close electrical circuit to be able to control whatever you want inside the building uh, additional uh, and we are talking about the PSU unit that you can connect to our outputs uh, expanders and inputs expanders so they are here, APS 412, uh, 612, and 1412. This is most common use in the security system. As you see, grade two, grade three compatible. Uh, so you have a lot of possibilities in there. Uh, of course, if you just need a power supply for the most common use, let's say for the security system with the grade two will be APS 412 because you will find out that this um, unit fit exactly in the um, um, enclosure, but also give you up enough power supply for the detector and expander. But if you have really big security system with additional possibilities and you control, for example, uh, access control, um, then you can use APS 1412. This will give you a lot of more like 12 amps uh, as the power supply, so this is quite a lot. Uh, APS 724, this is 24 vol uh, volts uh, PSU unit. It's most common used in the um, fire alarm, like 24, not in exactly in the security system, but still you have you can use it in any different possible way where, wherever you need 24 vol volts. For example, if you um, use this or integrate Integra panel with uh, KNX modules or any other, and they require 24 volts, you can use this APS 724. Uh, in addition, this is quite new modules. They have uh, high efficiency over 90%. You will, uh, if you look at the most um, information on the market right now, you will even find 99%, but this is more, like marketing information, uh, we test it, and this is real 90, more than 90% 90 of uh, efficiency of the power supply unit. Of course, we implemented a lot of uh, protection inside, like short circuit overload uh, and overheat protection. And this information is also sent to your uh, panel uh, if something is wrong with the APS uh, unit. So you have a um, possibility to know before and it happens or when it happens and of course battery state control so you have a possibility to send this also information about the status of the battery uh, into your system so you don't need to use for example additional zones if you connect it to by the free pin connector to expander about the communication be uh, between the panel and uh, end user but also installer 
you are able to use uh, right now, most common use is ETHM1 plus module if you have LAN network on site. But if, if you don't have or you want to have some kind of dual path reporting or uh, something that will that won't go through the router, you can use INT GSM unit to go by the mobile network that you are that is available on your site. So first of all, you can use them for reporting like GPRS, LAN, and SMS. You can send this information to monitoring station. We are using uh, you are able to use uh, contact ID and CI uh, CIA for it. And of course, you can connect to almost any uh, any kind of uh, monitoring station. Uh, but also, you have a possibility to notif uh, notify your end user, but also you as the installer, by using SMS push notification. If you're using Integra Control Clip, Clip is just a phone call from the panel. Of course, you need for this uh, INT GSM. Uh, it's just a phone call from the panel that doesn't give you any kind of voice. So in many cases if you are use if you receive a sms or push notification your phone will just do a very short signal like blip and it's all but if it's security this is alarm so you can then the panel can call you without any additional information just to force you to pick up the phone and see the notification on the phone this is something as additional functionality but also it supports email messaging with Integra Plus version, so you can have additional um, logs or the information about what happened on site uh, on your email uh, inbox. Both modules give you a possibility to use remote access. So first of all, you can use Integra Control uh, for, for your end user and for you to manage your system, to arm, disarm, control the outputs remotely, use macros for it, a little more about it a little later on. Um, you can use uh, it to show uh, um, even a view from the camera and then control outputs from there and the partitions from there. So you have quite a lot of possibilities. There's also possibility to see that the value of the temperature from the detectors and uh, controlling thermostat timers, etc., etc. This all uh, is in, in there in the Integra control, but also as you as the installer, you can use DLOT X uh, to so the configuration software to be able to to change the configuration of the system, or even to do a maintenance by it. Because grade two, grade three require that you need to do a maintenance at least two times per year. That one time uh, can be done remotely, so you can connect remotely to your panel and uh, your client panel and check the uh, do a maintenance and of course charge a fee for it so next part is a remote update uh, update so you can use upsurf to be able to uh, remotely update it but uh, not only module but you can also update uh, integra panel but please remember this is available only from version 1.19 so the latest one so right now, if you have Integra Panel in 1.19, you can update it maximum to 1.19. So let's say maybe it's not uh, right now used, but of course, with the next updates 1.20 and all the after it, you, you will be able to update remotely your panel by using uh, AppSurf. Uh, of course, remote control, you can use uh, SMS and clip and mobile application that I was talking before and dual path reporting. If your sites require that you need to uh, use a dual path reporting, so you need to send information about, about what's happening on site by two mediums like GSM and um, local network like Ethernet, etc., then you can use this both modules. So you can use INT GSM and ETHM1 Plus connected together to do to give you this functionality. Um, if we go into uh, smart home functionality, you can use uh, our INT KNX2 module to be able to connect and integrate with in, uh, with um, Integra panel and KNX. So you just put this the expander there. You connect uh, KNX bus into it and then you're ready to go to be able to integrate all the information from integra panel 
to KNX and other way. Of course, there are some kind of limitation, but you still are able to use outputs to send information like Telegram to KNX to turn on the lights, to start uh, to set some kind of values or to change values of the, um, uh, for example, dimming, etc. But also you are able to receive information from the KNX to, for example, change the status of the output if you are using INT ORS or to ARM or any other case. So you have full information from Integra panel. This is quite important or quite nice functionality because if you are uh, the security system in general is uh, its main reason is to give you information if there's someone at site or if their door or windows are open. So with this information, you don't you don't need to use two types of uh, detectors: one for the security system and one for uh, KNX. You can use just one detector connected to the Integra panel, and Integra panel will send the information about it. Um, how to use it? You can mostly common uh, use is to put a contacts on the windows. So if the window is open, your KNX. Uh, air conditioning unit received information that the window is open, so air condition should turn off for the uh, power uh, efficiency. In many cases, of course, if you can count also the movement inside the room or in, in the corridor to turn on the light, etc., etc. There is a, a lot of possibilities in there. Um, in addition to um, use output and inputs to send and receive information, you can also use a macros for it. So first of all, you are able to use macros, so the list of command, commands that uh, you can use. And you can use and you can start this list of command by pressing a button on the keypad or on the Integra control or by using, uh, for example, uh, um, triggers in the INT TSI. So you are able to start some kind of functionality, some kind of list of commands like arm, disarm, turn on the lights, turn on the output, turn off, or for example, block uh, zones inside the system by using just one button. This gives you a possibility to use a functionality like scenario or scenes inside the system. So you press one button and then the, for example, int INT TSI, and then you have full functionality like turn on the lights, open garage, wait one minute. If a detector um, outside see a movement, then close the garage, et cetera, et cetera. So you can do a functionality to go outside from the building, for example. Uh, so there is a uh, unlimited amount of command in one macro. Yes, it is. Of course, it depends on the memory on your SD card or in your device, but still it's almost unlimited. There is a KNX Telegram functionality, so you can not only control the security system as it is, like outputs and partitions, but also you can send up exactly some kind of Telegram on the KNX bus to be able to, for the KNX devices to react for it and change its uh, status, for example. But also they give you the same functionality in macros, give you an Integra control. So you can use also macros in Integra control and accept, of course, of the arming, disarming, viewing events, controlling outputs from the uh, mobile application. You can also um, use a telegrams and macros to make a scenarios in there. In addition to Integra control, you have also IP camera live view. So you have a uh, possibility to see what is happening on your in your garden, for example, uh, but also under the screen of the camera, you, you, you are able to put uh, icons for the controlling output partitions. So if you see, for example, movement um, in your garden and you don't like this person, you can start sprinklers there, for example, or, for example, open the door uh, and turn on the lights. Of course, Integra Control is free of charge, so you can download it for free from right now to uh, our um, to shops, I think it's shop stores. So it's uh, Google Play and App Store, respectively, for the for your phone. Of course, you need to control somehow your panel. So there is a, a big range of the keypads. Uh, this is a little bit more advanced keypads like INT KLFR. So this is a simple key keypad with 
a card reader built in uh, and the, with the new look for it, you have INTKSG. This is a sensor um, keypad, so there is no mechanical buttons on it. But also this keypad supports give information about that you can configure the screen that you have in there, like you put uh, information about the temperature, etc. But also you are able to use um, macros to control the system um, or make some kind of scenarios. There is also TSG, TSH. This is the small and the bigger, so five inch and seven inch screen uh, with the functionality of the macro. This is a touch screen, uh, so it's quite easy to use. Uh, you can implement this in the security system very fast. And at, at the end, you have INTTSI, the biggest uh, one, but to give you a lot of possibilities because everything what you see on the screen, you could do and customize by yourself. And there is an additional, that was additional webinar regarding INTTSI. So if you want to know a little more, please go there and check it out. Um, okay, so for also, um, as you as the installer, you will be using most common is DLOADX. This is the software for the configuration of the security system. From here, you can do almost everything in, uh, about the configuration. Of course, you can download it for free from our website, and then you can connect uh, locally or, or, or remotely uh, with uh, your panel, and then you are able to change configuration. Of course, uh, if you are using remotely, right now more and more uh, you can use subtle server because then uh, you don't need to, cre to uh, create a, a port forwarding on your router and configure your network. You just need to be able to, uh, that ETHM1 is able to see internet and then you are able to connect it remotely to modules like ETHM1 Plus or INTGSM. Uh, but we also have additional software, for example, GuardX. This is software for administrator of the um, system. So for the end user, if you want to have additional software for it, uh, so if you have more uh, users in the system, but also it gives you a possibility to create a map of site and put information about the partitions in there, status of the zones, but also a camera view in there. So you have still a lot of possibilities in, uh, in Guard X, but also you can add, remove, change configuration of the users and see all the event, events in there. We have also additional software. This is Flash X with the firmware. You can update our panel with it or um, and order devices. Uh, you have AppServe uh, for a remote update, but please remember from version 1.19, so right now it's nothing to use for, but in the near future, you will be able to do it. Uh, Integrum solution, this is integration with Integra panel. So if you have, for example, uh, shops around the country and there is like, I hope 200 of them. And in every single one of them, there is Integra panel and you want to control them, manage them remotely. Then you can do it by inter Integrum and uh, then you can share users between the systems. You can uh, change the configuration of the users and their um, possibilities to, if they can arm, disarm, etc or have access to it, you have one place where you can check all the information regarding uh, status of the system, if it's armed, disarmed, or the event log from every single system, also with the information about the alarms from them. But also there is a possibility to use a functionality to store the uh, configuration on server. So if something goes wrong, you are always have a backup, but in addition, this uh, Integrum is able to check the difference between the configuration. And for example, if you send a maintenance, third party maintenance uh, group to site and you see that they change some kind of users, the question is uh, why they change it and you can control what they are doing on site. This is quite a nifty little feature inside Integrum if you want to have uh, some, uh, some bigger installation inside there. Um, of course, UK, there is uh, right now more and more 
mm, is used on notification or messaging for the end user because right now in almost uh, everyone use some kind of smart home devices that uh, right now is like computer in your pocket or it is a computer in your pocket and this give you a lot of possibilities with uh, going with this of course integra control to control your system but also notifications so more and more we see um that uh, people prefer to have their own notification so you can use and push notification with ethm1 and intgsm uh, you can use an sms of course with intgsm or you can use voice messaging if you prefer also clip of course, there is additional possibilities to use a pager, text messages, but in if you are using INTGSM, I don't think that you will be using it anymore. But there is a, still a possibility for it. Um, of course, you can send the same information or even more information to monitoring station about the status of the system. You can use LAN, GPRS, SMS, or PSTN. Uh, line for it. You can use a dual path reporting. You can send to to, to different monitoring station with the different IDs uh, inside there. And of course, you can use many old uh, standards for sending information, but also most common use right now contact ID, so SEED and SID uh, for a monitoring station. And with if you are using a STAM two. Uh, monitoring station you are also able to use a uh, guard x to uh, remotely connect with the panel uh, from the monitoring station this is of course you require this integration with the third party systems because Integ uh, integros of course by the int knx2 is able to connect with the knx but also we implemented api that you can use with any other uh, smart home functionality but not only smart home but also bms uh, solutions on market so if you want it you can write it we just give you a full information about the api and you can use it with the ethm1 plus and intrs plus <clears throat> of course ethm1 plus then communication goes by the tcp ip with the intrs plus is go by the rs232 right now there is a few companies that already are integrated with our Integra panel. So it's Control 4, RTI, Comfort, uh, Click, and Creston. I think there is little more of them also there. But of course, if you want anything else, you can use um, our API for it. I know there is also some kind of functionality created with the mm, do-it-yourself uh, solutions like uh, OpenHub, uh, etc. So you can use it also if you have time for it to spend and implement this in your house <clears throat> so if uh, we mostly right now we are was talking about a wired solution but of course you can use a wireless solution with abax 2 so you connect uh, acu unit to your integra panel and then you have a wireless solution for for example, to control your system by using a wireless keypads, uh, key fobs, etc. You have a wireless sirens, wireless zone and outputs expanders. This is quite interesting because you can find very small, um, like size of the matchbox uh, expanders, and uh, to control, for example, uh, other systems or integrate with the other system by using inputs and outputs. You have a possibility to use uh, um, devices uh, like ASW210 uh, that you can put on the other side of the switch and then control the security system, but also the smart uh, home functionality. So there is a quite a lot of nifty little features in there. There is, of course, uh, remote uh, wireless detectors, wireless internal and external detectors. Um, there is a quite nifty little uh, device, AXD200. This is uh, seven different detectors in one. So like contact, shock, uh, temperature detector inside, and even the reorientation and flood detector inside. You have uh, fire detectors and smoke detectors built in. 
and in near future we will be implementing also retransmitter but we think for now it's not that uh, mm, it's not most important part because we uh, integra sorry abax 2 uh, the range of it is up to two kilometers and our distributors i think from germany and from belgium uh, you can confirm it on chat if it's true they make a test going in the mountains and check the signal strength uh, of the device so this is quite interesting uh, so you can go and check this out i think it's on the youtube all righty so <clears throat> if you want some kind of uh, access control of course integra also supports it so you can use if uh, uh, keypads like INT KLFR, but also there is additional keypads, um, partition keypads they called, and you can use a uh, card, cards or key fobs uh, to be able to control uh, access control uh, and other card readers also there. So uh, we there is a module INTR that give you this functionality. So you are using one module for one door, so you can control up to 64 different doors in the building. Uh, INTR also uh, give you a possibility to use a third party devices uh, or like card readers, biometric readers, etc. by using Vigant. Uh, and of course, Dallas protocol also is supported by this device. In addition to access control, you can combine it with the arming, disarming and resetting alarm from the readers. So you are using just one and card to be able to not only access door and go um, but also you are able to arm and disarm the security system from it but if you need more advanced uh, access control then you can integrate it with the Acconet solution and then you are able to expand even amount of users up to 64,000 little more than this users inside the Acconet and then Acconet users are still able to arm and disarm the security system. So you have full functionality of the security system, but also Acconet. So big uh, access control uh, solution in there. And this is how it looks like. So first of all, you have um, uh, with the Acconet, you have on the bottom, you have access control. So Acconet that is communicated by the TCP IP uh, with the servers, I call servers uh, with the database and uh, web. And then you have up for every ACO NT, you can um, connect up to 200, 228, yeah, 200 uh, access control like ACO KP, 255 uh, ACO KP, so access control and doors. Uh, that supports vegan readers and, for example, biometric and every single one of them. And then you can use uh, unlimited ACCO NTs in the system. So you can create very big um, access control in there. And of course, you can administrate this whole system from uh, web browsers connected to with the ACCO web. And then you can use even smartphone to control your access control. And all of this, you can con connect with the ETHM1 Plus that is connected to Integra panel to implement and integrate all the security parts, like uh, information from the detectors, uh, arming, disarming partitions, et cetera, et cetera, from Integra panel to all the ACCO NT solution. So this is quite interesting and quite big um, se security system and integration with the access control. Of course, I wouldn't be able to end uh, our webinar uh, without information about the new type of detectors. Uh, so as you see, there is a slim line, our new line of the detectors. There's 10 different detectors in there. Uh, so you have a different, uh, quite big range. So you have uh, simple uh, PIR and dual technology, but also the wireless and wired ones. So there is a lot of possibilities in there, but in general, our company uh, give you a possibility to use a many different uh, detectors like uh, vibration or shock detectors, contacts, quite big range, flood detectors, gas, gas for different types of gas detectors, infrared barriers, smoke and heat detectors, acoustic brake, curtains, 
yeah, there is a quite a lot. Of course, if you want to uh, know more about the type of detectors that we um, produce, you can go to our website, www.subtle.eu, and you can find all the information in there about our uh, detectors. There was also one of the web webinar uh, about the slimline. So if you are uh, interested more about this, please check our webinars on our website. Also, you will find all the information we want in the new line of the detectors. This is quite interesting and quite um, powerful devices. Okay, to sum this all up, uh, you will see uh, there is also impl implementation of Integrum, as I talked before, about the connecting all the security system in one big uh, system. And of course, for Integra Pandas, you can uh, inter connect uh, sirens, detector, keypads, different, a few different types, smart home and KNX functionality inside the security system, but also access control, wireless communication, uh, and of course, notification for the end users and additional outputs and zones, expanders. Okay, guys, we fit in the one hour of time. I'm quite happy because I think this is the first or second time when I provided webinar and we fit in the time described by the details of this webinar. But uh, before we end, we go to the um, a few questions that you ask and that uh, my colleague uh, give a uh, answer already or not but this is the questions that are quite interested interesting so i will try to answer uh, for all of you guys still if you have some kind of uh, question regarding it please go ahead and ask also before you end uh, i will tell you that next week um, the date will be Pum, 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 pum. 17th and 8th on Ju of June, uh, there is a two webinar. Uh, next webinar will be about how to start programming with Integra Panel, how to connect, how to configure it, the, at least the, the simple security system, because of course Integra Panel is a, a quite advanced with a lot of functionality, but also this is mainly a security system. So we will be talking about this and this will be more like and maybe not the hands of deck because you don't have Integra in front of you, but we will be talking step by step how to start programming. But of course, with the uh, second webinar that will be next day, we will be going in the more advanced stuff, uh, especially for the people that already install it or use Integra uh, already. This will be also talking about uh, logic inside the security system and how you can expand from the simple logic like controlling the lights or controlling the um, Luna, for example, and expand it with the more possibilities later on comparing to the timers or what type of user arm and disarm the system, et cetera, et cetera. So you can expand the possibilities of the Integra panel with the logic. So right now let's go to questions. <clears throat> Maybe I will be able to answer something for you. Uh, where we can use thermostat output. Okay, so you have, first of all, in Integra Plus, you have a thermostat output that are, you can set two types, two uh, values of the temperature, T1 and T2, that you can use to control the temperature in the building. Um, so if you connect this type, if you con configure this type of output, like a thermostat output with, for example, INT ORS, this is the 230 volts uh, relays, you can control by them a valve. So if you have any kind of uh, floor heating that the uh, time be before they start giving you a heat and then turn it off, is quite long, then you can use it to control it, and then you have a possibility to use it there. But of course, I maybe I wouldn't advise to use this type of thermostat if you have something, some kind of heating device that uh, reacts very, very fast, like air condition or some kind of fans, uh, etc., etc. I wouldn't use there because the time for the changing uh, the values of the temperature is 
little too big and this won't give you a full functionality then i will go to some kind of third party company solution like smart home like creston uh, control 4 or kenix in this case uh, or uh, rti but in if you are using heat uh, f floor heating or normal uh, heaters on the wall with the water then you can use it uh, with the thermostat output Alrighty. Um, which temperature sensors can you connect to uh, connect so you can use, see temperature on the TSI? Okay, so you can use only wireless solution because our input doesn't support uh, uh, values. They only giving you a resistance or reading a resistance. So you need to use uh, wireless detectors. Uh, from ABAX 1, so the previous version of ABAX, this is only one detector, so it's ATD100. And from the ABAX 2, is almost every single detector. So you can use a PIR uh, in the corner to give you temperature information, but also you can use AXD, so contact or temperature detectors uh, or flood detector to give you this information. In addition, you are able to uh, correct the temperature uh, because, for example, you have different reading from different devices, or, for example, you have a, con a PIR in the corner of your room where the temperature closer to ceiling is normally higher, so you can decrease it uh, to make more, uh, more or less assumption what is the temperature in the room, and then you can use this information in the TSI or in the thermostat. Do you also have wire temperature sensor for showing on TSI? No, we don't have it uh, because uh, wire uh, wire connectors uh, connection with our panel is uh, just limited to the resistance, so we are not able to read the values. But there is a one detector TD1 that give you possibility to uh, read the temp uh, to give you information about the temperature exactly the uh, value uh, or the threshold. If you go through the threshold of the uh, of the temperature, but it's not able to give you a value of the temperature on wire, so only wireless in this case. Yes, uh, almost all our um, software is uh, free of charge. You can download it from from our website. It's GuardX, DLoadX, or Integra Control. Everything is free of charge, so you can uh, just go to our website and download it. Again, thank you, Bert. Uh, it's uh, next week on six, 16th of uh, June and 17th, uh, sorry, 17th and 18th of June. So you can, I think you should already receive a newsletter about it. So please join there. You will receive there for sure a lot more information. Okay, guys, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Wukash, for helping me uh taking care of all the questions i saw that there was quite a lot uh, so uh, i hope to see you so soon next week i hope also you are uh, you're going through the covid 19 quite well and without any problems as you see we already come back to our offices so we are happy to do our webinars from from here okay guys thank you very much one more time and see you soon Bye-bye.